Hi everyone, Sanjay here. Um, today let's see if we can create the Argo CD um, notification system uh, where we're gonna send some notification to the Slack um, whenever the whenever you sync the new applications if you're creating. Uh, let's get started with this. So let's create the new application on the Slack API. So I'll add all these details on my GitHub uh, repo um, or on my medium ch medium document so you can go ahead and grab all these things from here so when you click on this let's start from scratch f name i'll go stack um i've created a workspace before so you can create the workspace by check check out some of the documents how to create a workspace so i already have a workspace Alright, so we have a channel now. Let's create the pot. Let's create a what permission for this. And scope is a report. Let's do the chat right permission to this. And let's add chat right customize with the customize you'll be able to add a picture or something all right so that's good now let's install the workspace so we need to get the what token for this that we'll be using in the secret yeah. to connect with the send a message from our Argo City notification to the Slack channel. So we have to create a work token for this one. Alright, just copy this token. Let's save this token. Alright, so now we have a what there. Now let's go to Slack. Now I have a app. Now we have to create a channel. So create a channel. Mm. the city channel. Channel test. Next, let's keep it private. Let's keep for now. Let's add our app to this one. So let's add our app. Alright. You mentioned but they are not invited. Okay, invite them. Alright, so pause added to Argo DCG channel, but it's not very it says okay. Alright. Okay, let's add so now we've added the Argo CD customize so now we can add the icon to this one. Let's add some icon. Oh that's me. I have a tattoo in my bag. So we've added it. Alright, so we have we have we are ready with the channel and we have copied the we have added the bot here. Okay, Argo CD Slack has been added here. The channel name is Argo CD channel test in this we're gonna send the notification now let's install the argo city okay so um i'll share the github repo link i'll add that into the description uh, let's go to jboard select notification uh, now argo city secret now we have to update the secret so that's our cd uh, that's our city secret don't change the secret name because um, uh, by default notification service look for this particular secret because there is you don't like you see there is no annotation no label so there is nothing that 
which says Argo CD, okay, this is going to be new secret. So they by default look for this secret name. So don't change the secret name. All right. Um, now let's go here. So now it will pick up the token from that given secret. So that's Argo CD CN. Uh, for, we'll create the default trigger, trigger which is on deployed. You want to learn more about the trigger, I have added the link here for Argo CD. I'll not go into the detail what it is uh, for a trigger. If you want to learn about uh, those more, go here for a template, go here. So when by default trigger will be uh, triggered, um, it will trigger on deployed. On deployed, it will call the template this. And in, in the template, we have all the message for the Slack. All right, um, so I'm gonna call the 2.8.4 and I'm gonna cast strategy. I'm gonna patch the notification secret and uh, notification CM with the overflows or overlays. So let's do, let's install it. So there is no resource, you see. And in the select notification directory, I'm gonna apply the kubectl apply minus k to apply for the customize. All right, it's coming up. I'll go set notification. All right, it's running. Let's get the Argo CD secret. secret so I got a secret here let's uh, put forward our service so kubectl put forward svc argo cd server I guess obviously the server and that's a port 80 so I'll do 8081 80 okay and all right local host 81 that's fine proceed right in and the password we got it here all right there is no application right now so let's create an application and let's uh, see if it sends us the notification. So let me show you how the application looks like. Uh, there is a test application, Slack test application. So application is the guest book, is the by default application. So in order to see, send the notification on Slack, you add this annotation where notification dot project.io subscribed on uh, on deployed. So that's your default. Uh, that's that's your trigger and dot slack so dot slack you make sure what is the channel name so what is the channel name that we have let's see our channel name it's our city channel test so we had the channel here then rest of the things it's a uh, normal applications uh, like project which project you are uh, the argo city project you're going to use git repo the, so we are deploying it to the server cover in cluster and um, these are the application set which is the example application set of Argo City. I'm just writing an annotation here for the Slack notification. So on deployed, it should send us a notification whenever I'm deploying the application. All right. Let's go back. Slack notification. Bring the level back. Test application. K apply minus F Slack notification. Let's open a log here, notification controller matrix. Okay, that's the one. That's a log. Yes. And that's our Slack channel. Okay. So, alright, it deployed through. It's okay, there is no error. Let's see here. Alright, let's see. Awesome. 
you saw you received a notification the application guest group is running with a new version of deployment of Unifish in the status repository same with this repository what is the revision so you'll get the commit id as well and all these things awesome congratulations all right so it looks good so this is how you send the notification from argo cd uh, you can add more uh, but like uh, you can do the on sync uh, you can do if sync is failing you can see if the pen if something is pending if the deployment is failing if the application set sync is failed all these triggers you can create in the uh, for the by using a template and uh, and a trigger here make sense um, so yeah this is what i wanted to show thank you very much and have a great day happy diwali